the Emperor's horse was being given golden shoes. And everyone agreed this was a fitting reward for all his loyal service. Everyone except a certain people who also lived in the Imperial stables. Hey, Blacksmith! Over here! Yes, Mr. Beetle? Where are my golden shoes for all my loyal service? But, my little friend, golden shoes like these would be too heavy for your little feet. <gasps> what you really mean is I'm not important enough and I'm getting nothing. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Stand up for us, Beetles. We demand our rights. Well, oh. <laughs> what's all the excitement? Who's making the noise? It's your boy again, Mrs. Beetle. He's demanding his rights from the blacksmith. You see this, Mother? Gold shoes for that jumped-up old mule. And... and nothing for me. Well, now, isn't that just typical? One law for the small and another for the big. You tell them, dear. Don't you let them get away with it. I won't, Mother. Just you watch me. Well, Blacksmith, what have you got to say for yourself? I hear what you're saying, Mr. Beetle. But this great war horse has carried our Emperor in battle. He has saved the Emperor's life so many... Yes, yes, we know all that. But it's all a matter of opportunity, isn't it? Eh? Hey. Mother, tell them. When was I ever asked to march with the Emperor into battle? Never, dear. But if you had been asked, I know you'd have gone. Willingly. And you'd have come back a general, too. There, you see, I never got the opportunity. I was ignored, like now, with the golden shoes. It's an outrage! An injustice! <laughs> oh, oh, how dare you laugh at my darling boy? Just huh? because he wants the same rights as that horse. Sorry, Mrs. Beetle, it's just, well... He's a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up, dear. You're every bit as important as they are. Well, to me, anyway. Huh. Won't get me my golden shoes, though, will it? Oh, oh, face facts, brother. In the grand scheme of things, horses come first over us beetles every time. <laughs> well, that may be true for you, but I'm worth ten of those clip-clopping carrot munchers any day, and I'll prove it. Oh, yeah? How? By doing what the horse did. I shall go out into the big wide world and come back in <laughs> Oh, right. And how long is that going to take? <sighs> I'll be back before that horse has its shoes on. And then I'll show him. I'll show all of you. Silly insect. <laughs> all right, then. Let's bet on it, shall we? Oh, now, now, dear. You know I don't approve of gambling. Ten whole dumb balls say that when I return, that horse will be beneath me. That's a fortune! Wow. Oh, especially when it's my entire dung collection you're gambling with. Don't worry, Mother. When you're sure you're going to win, it isn't actually gambling, is it? <sighs> stuff too. Ah, just breathe in that aroma. Well, are you going to put your dung where your mouths are? You're on. Very well. I shall be back before the last shoe goes on that horse. Oh, son! Son, don't! You can't leave me here all alone. I'm sorry, Mother, but a beetle's got to do... What a beetle's got to do. <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Those dung balls are as good as ours already. <laughs> <laughs> Wyatt, what would you little crawlers know about bravery? Ignore them, dear. Please, stay home with me. We'll chew some nice fresh straw. It's too late for chewing straw, Mother. So, farewell, everyone. I'm off. Who knows? I'll probably come back so important, uh. even the Emperor will have to bow before me. <laughs> anyway, must fly. <laughs> Ten to one, he never makes the window. Oh, there he goes. Oh, up, no up. wings. 
Away! Whoa! <laughs> oh, my darling son! He's gone! to our fragrant garden. <laughs> you call this fragrant? You should smell the manure in the Imperial stables. Now that's fragrance. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. is it today I spin my cocoon and go to sleep? Is it? That's the question on my mind. Uh, listen, there's only one important question, and that's why. Why should the Emperor's Warhorse be given golden shoes when I get no honours at all? Well, good sir, we country folk don't know a lot about, uh, gold. Or shoes, but honours we do know. I am to be honoured myself quite soon. You? Who would want to honour you? Oh, it is a great honour. I will fall asleep in my cocoon and when I wake up, I'll be a beautiful butterfly and fly away. Oh, right. Of course you'll be beautiful. You wriggly, snaky little thing, you. Sure, you'll just fly away. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> he is very full of himself. <laughs> And we were only trying to welcome him to the garden. Let's leave him alone. Yes, before he says anything else to hurt our feelings. Uh, so sorry. Uh, rumours of fires at home. Many children to rescue. Uh, must be off. Sorry. How rude. Those country peasants didn't bow to me or anything. I'll show them. So, you reckon you can fly, eh? <laughs> if you want to see flying, then take a look. And this! <laughs> Where's my mother when I need her? <laughs> oh, my poor darling. I do hope he'll be back shortly. <laughs> Oh, of course he will, Mrs. Beetle. <laughs> but at this rate, it'll be long after that horse has all his shoes on. And then all your dung will be ours. Don't <laughs> 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 oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, isn't this splendid, my dear? Marvellously moist, Frederick. Quite a climate for us, I believe. Climate? You call this a climate? In the Imperial stables, we'd call this clammy and unhealthy, too. Damp can give you chill planes, you know. We've not been introduced, sir. I gather from your remarks that you have Imperial connections? Well, yes, I should say so. I'm the Imperial Stable Beetle, in the service of the Emperor for longer than... than... Uh, a very long time, anyway. And that's why I can't bear to think of what's happened. Something has happened? Really? My golden shoes were given to the Emperor's Warhorse. Can you believe it? So, the war horse has your shoes. But may one ask, what uh, size shoes do you take? What do you what size I take? Just because you're big, you think you can make us little creatures feel small. Pah! Ignorant country bumpkins. How rude. I don't care where you're from, Mr. Beetle. But you're not going to make many friends round here with that attitude. Yes! Be off with you before we, uh, I don't know, eat you or something. <gasps> ah. <laughs> eat me indeed! What do you know of life in the Imperial stables? Nothing! No one appreciates me! 
Still. Whoa! Oh. Ow! Oh. Oh. Dear, oh dear. How long has he been gone? Long enough for the horse to have his second shoe put on. <laughs> Oh, my darling boy, please come home safe and soon. All oh, my life savings are at stake here. I just don't understand it. No one out here seems to appreciate me either, even when I tell them where I'm from. <sighs> oh. Hello? Is there somebody there? Aha. Uh -huh. Here's somebody now. Perhaps if I make more of an effort to pretend they're my equals, they'll make the effort to realize how important I am. Oh, dearie me. You poor traveler, lost in the pouring rain. Um, uh, good day to you, madam. What wet weather you get in this part of the world. Come in. The rain won't last. Come in and rest yourself. Ha! It's working already. How very clever I am. Allow me to introduce my three unmarried daughters. <laughs> the Imperial Stable Beetle at your service, ladies. <gasps> and may I say, such beauty has not delighted my eyes since I left the court of our great Emperor himself. You mean... You, sir, are acquainted with the Emperor? Why, certainly, madam. In fact, right now, I am on a secret mission for His Imperial Majesty. Oh. <laughs> now, now, ladies. And when I return, I will be honored with a set of golden shoes made by the court jeweler. Oh. Golden shoes? How splendid! <laughs> but tell me, good sir, your lovely wife must have shed many a tear when you left the court. Oh, indeed, no, madam. <laughs> we secret agents have to be free of family ties. Excellent! Then you must choose a wife at once, for my three daughters are madly in love with you. Isn't that so, girls? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Stay on there, ladies. This is all a bit sudden. It's simple! All you have to do is propose to whichever of my darlings you like the best. Propose? But, madam, grateful as I am for your hospitality... Don't mention it! After all, you'll soon be a member of the family. <laughs> There's going to be a wedding! But, madam, under these circumstances, no gentleman would even consider proposing marriage mm. oh. uh, to such beautiful ladies <laughs> unless he was looking his best. Mm. Uh, so, madam, after my journey in the storm, I need to tidy up. May I use your gentleman's washroom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? hmm. Oh, no! I wanted to be appreciated and treated as somebody important, but not quite this much. That's it. I'm off. Besides, I've a wager to win. <laughs> oh. What silly creatures. So much for treating them as equals. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Huh? Well, now, I'm even more amazing than I thought. This looks like Africa. Has any beetle ever traveled so far? After such a journey, yes. I deserve a little nap. Still plenty of time to win my bet. Mrs. Beetle might as well hand over those dung balls now. He's never coming back. But I don't understand it. Ooh. 
What could possibly be keeping him? Maybe it's taking them a while to fit his golden shoes. <laughs> Shoe number three, boys. Another little while and we'll be rolling in dung. The beetle, meanwhile, was hard at work, dreaming of great glories. Gotcha! Hey, hey! Let me go, you big bully! Excellent! A big fat one! Just what I need for my ship. And just in case you're thinking of flying away... <laughs> Now hold steady, Skipper. Oh! And I'll put you on the bridge of your new command. Not so tight! You're strangling me! There! Tight enough to keep you in place, but loose enough to let you wave goodbye. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Leave me! I was never meant to go to sea! The Emperor's looking for me! Coming, Mother! Ah! Oh! Eric! I'm giving your dinner to the dog! Oh! Typical! All that time it took to make, and I can't even follow it down the bank. Oh, never mind. Mmm! Fish pie! My favourite! Oh! You wicked child! I hope your mother feeds you to the dog! This is all that war horse's fault. If only he hadn't stolen my golden shoe. <laughs> when that shoe's finished, all his dung will be ours. <laughs> oh, please come home soon, my poor little darling. Whoa! Hold. Good day, sir. Isn't this a splendid day to be on the water? I... I've seen better. I... I have you know. I was once head beetle in the Imperial stable. Ah, oh, yes. Well, that's what happens if you let yourself get too tied down. Come back! Help me! Oh, if only you knew! I'm a great explorer and a much greater hero than that rotten war horse! But now, I'm marooned on the wild ocean without anyone to save me! And those other stable beetles are probably moving in on my mother's dung collection even as I speak! <laughs> Things couldn't possibly be worse. Oh no! Things just got worse! A giant waterfall! Wait. One last hope. Maybe my special powers of being able to eat straw will save me. Free! I'm free! Except for my wings! Whoa! No, not again! Oh, that horrible boy upstream! He's always tying up helpless little creatures and floating them down here. <gasps> I'm still here, and I'm... I'm still me! Hmm. There you go, little beetle. Fly away free, if you still can. And you stay away from that Eric, whatever you do. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Yes, I'm indestructible! The beetle no one can beat! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, careful, though, beetle. Escaping that boat may have turned out a breeze, but this breeze is more of a crosswind. I might as well stop wasting my precious energy and just see where I end up. Whoa. 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 Whoa.
miserable insects. My poor beetle is out there in terrible danger, and all you horrible little creatures can think about is my dung ball. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Where am I? Hmm. Huh? I'm back in the Imperial stables. With the horse beneath me! Mother! Mother! I'm here! Cooey! Huh? I knew it! I knew the Emperor never meant to insult me! The golden shoes were for me all along! Huh? Oh! My baby! Oh no! He's on top of the horse! And he made it back before the last shoe went on! The Emperor gave the horse the golden shoes because I am to ride him. The honor was all mine. Ha <laughs> ha, mine. And look how important he is. He's riding the Emperor's horse. They put the golden shoes on the horse so I wouldn't wear myself out walking around on my own special legs. Woohoo! <laughs> That's it, horse. You carry me around, for I'm the master now. Ha-ha! <laughs> Look, mother, the horse is beneath me. Well done, darling. I knew you could do it. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Look, all you other beetles. I won the bet. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's ten dung balls you all owe me. <sighs> It'll take us forever to scrape up that much. And we'll never hear the end of it. Ten whole dung balls. I'm rich. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> that's if he ever escapes from under there. Now, that's what I call letting things get on top of you. <laughs> Should we tell his mother? <laughs> well... I'm so proud my beetle's finally moved up in the world where he belongs. Nah, let's not spoil the moment for her. Hey, who put the lights out? What's going on? Do you realise who I am? <sighs> when the Emperor finds out about this, There'll be no end of trouble. So, the little beetle had set out in search of the recognition he thought he deserved. But I don't think he ever guessed just how close he would finally be to his beloved emperor. Let me out of here! What is that squeaky noise? Is it the saddle leather? No! Really, we distinctly hear squeaking! So, if all you ever dream of is being big and important, and sitting on your high horse, beware. Someone even bigger and higher up might just sit on you. Snip, snap, snuff. Thank you.